Medic! I need a medic over here. Where's Mark Dana when you need him? Legos. Oh, how painful. G'day folks, Uncle Nack is here with another woodworking challenge. This time it's from that juggernaut Mark Dana with the hashtag rubbishwood21. Let's do it. Now the inspiration for this challenge involves Lego and mountain biking, which my 11 year old son absolutely loves. So I've decided to build him a Lego display unit out of a 26 inch bike tire and a few sticks of old rubbish wood that I've been tripping over for the last year or so. Now the great thing about this project is that anybody can do it and hopefully with a bit of luck, fingers crossed, it's going to, to look Pretty cool. Unlike what I tried to do just then, which, well, was pretty lame, so. May need to delete this bit. Now you most likely can't see the size of our tire written down here, but it's a 26 inch times 2.25. So I think I'll cut the rubbish wood to a width of 43 millimeters, which should fit nicely inside the tire. With most of my projects, I like to do a bit of Uncle Knacker's approved rustification work, which involves adding a few self-inflicted character building nicks, cracks and scratches. The pine fascia board that I've cut the size is looking a bit too fresh. And since I've just made myself a cuppa, if I just paint the board with the tea, hopefully the tannins in the tea will make it a little darker. Adding some black paint and then sanding it off will help highlight the imperfections. Finish the boards off with a couple of coats of clear varnish or polyurethane and we're ready to cut the size. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. That did not just happen. No, that's not good. That's not good either. Looks like it's a retirement home for you, old girl. Okay, I've been over the old girl and I reckon I can repair this section here just by simply replacing that plastic housing. But I did go ahead and did a test to see how square it was cutting and it is running a little bit out, which is really annoying because this has been such a fantastic machine over many years. And to top things off, I've also broken something inside this housing because this guard should be down here and not up there. Oh, what an absolute pain. Watch this space, folks. Looks like I'm up for a brand new machine. <sighs> All right, where's that handsaw? <laughs> handsaw. Who uses handsaws? So basically, this is how the Lego display shelf is going to look, but I do want to pimp it up just a little bit. So what I think I'll do, if I can, is run some of this LED strip lighting around the inside edge of this tire, which hopefully should highlight that tire and make the shelf really pop. Thank you. 
So as you can see here, all I've done is I've screwed that transformer to the inside of our tire and we'll attach the LEDs to these wires here. Check out the lights folks. Pretty impressive I have to say. And the good thing is, is that with your remote control, you can change the color of those lights from red to green, blue, and even white. And you can also make them flash, strobe, fade, whatever you like. Absolutely fantastic. Now I do have to say though, that the sticky back on these lights wasn't very strong. So I actually had to super glue those lights in place. I'll tell you what, those Lego pieces are going to look fantastic in this. Speaking of Lego, a couple of days ago I overheard a conversation between a Lego mum and her Lego son as he was heading out the door to meet his girlfriend. The mum looks at him and she goes, that looks atrocious. You can't go out looking like that. Go back upstairs and change into your blue legs. Just didn't match. Colours clashed, so colourblind. Kids these days, no idea. Now check that out folks, what a little cracker. One Lego display unit, complete with lights, done and dusted. Made from an old tire and some rubbish wood that was destined for the bin. Your kids are going to love it. Great tip, knackers! Now just very quickly and referring back to the start of the video, the next time you step on a random piece of Lego and have to spend the night in the emergency, just simply remove one of the pieces of Lego from the Lego shelf, not to be replaced as a subtle reminder to your kids to pick up their stuff. Seriously, how many times do they have to be told? Hopeless. Now if you want to see more awesome scrap woody type projects, make sure you click on my playlist, which should be popping up over there very shortly. Alrighty, a big thank you to Mark from Dana Designs for putting on this challenge. Well done mate, awesome stuff. And I look forward to seeing everybody else's creative rubbish wood creations. Alrighty, I'm off for a cup of tea. So till next time, cheers.